it's uh, one of those bittersweet things. You know, you anticipate trying to get your own birth certificate for all these years, and I, for whatever reason, I've been carrying this around for a month and did not know exactly when I was going to open it. I made mention it to the group here today, and they couldn't believe it. They said they just tore into theirs, so I thought, what the heck, might as well share it with them. So I shared it with them. Now I have to call my kids and just tell them because I know I've been pondering when to do it, but it's been fun. My burning passion is probably a little different. I really kind of took this on more as a mission, and the more I heard their stories, I felt that God put me in a position, in, as in the legislature, to help be a voice for those who couldn't be a voice. So it was more than just getting a piece of paper for me. It was about trying to help other people work through the system that sometimes is very convoluted. In many cases, has been very expensive. Many people spend tens of thousands of dollars paying private investigators to end up with nothing. We are just about a one-year celebration of the bill actually being signed into law. They actually uh, had to get the Department of Health promulgating the regulations to go with it. So we have now had 2,028 Pennsylvanians born, may not live here now, receive their birth certificate. And we've had some great reunions, uh, stories sent to us about people meeting new family, and more importantly, learning health history that is so vital in today's medical world.